29 degrees forecast for tonight and so all of this color is going to be gone. These are so primed to make amazing bouquets. But I don't feel, I almost feel too lazy to deal with it this year. Some of the color combinations are unbelievable. I'll show you here in a minute some um, that color along with that peach to raspberry one together called Bella Barmera are amazing together along with some of the vibrant pink dahlias. There's a dahlia right there that just barely opened up. The first bloom from that plant just before the freeze. Oh, that would be probably a Café Lot Royale, I think is the name. Maybe not pronouncing it right. Look at that plant. So big. Huge blooms about to come out on that. But it's going to freeze. That's, that's the Emery Paul granddaddy, one of the biggest dinner plate dahlias you'll ever see. It's a giant bloom that's raspberry colored. Unbelievable. And this, like that uh, candy cane striping. Don't remember the name of that. I'll have to look it up. I think these are amazing on the color scheme. Uh, I think those plus the white ones plus this one right now. Cameras don't capture this color. It's a magenta. It's called Purple Flame. Gorgeous. As a base color all through the garden. Even though cameras don't capture the color. Another Bell of Barmera. I have some on the other side. There's that uh, nectarine tree that's almost bracing them. They've tipped over so much. And he's going to have a little bloom sale. Let people come cut flowers the day before they're all extinguished. That one, super tall, not yet bloomed. All these ready to bud out, all just at the end. The season, I need to be in San Diego where these can go many more months. Start earlier in the season and go longer. The wind and rain in the night knocked these down. Gorgeous. Look at how huge this plant is. Just prolific blooms all on the top of that. That's a lot of weight too, by the way. Those, each one of those buds, they have a lot of weight. When you snap them off when they're, they're dead, they go down with a lot of weight. Look at how gorgeous. You want color therapy? Just walk around, look at some of these blooms. Some of my most favorite I need to find. I haven't, I didn't have success in a few of them surviving uh, the tubers. I've had, there was a pink one, I think it's called, uh, well, I can't remember now. I'll have to look it up, but see, look at the color scheme of this one with that one, with those sort of uh, 
I think some people might call that periwinkle. I don't know. I don't know. It's sort of a blued color. I've been looking at them out the basement window all morning. And my mom clipped a bunch from right here a little bit ago to go take to a lady that absolutely raves about them in appreciation. So I guess when you're grateful, you get the delivery. There's another one of those big pink ones. I really don't remember getting that deep of a dark red. A number of those right through there are that deep red. So, there's a dead one. It wasn't secure and the, it fell over with wind and snapped. So it's tubers in the ground, probably rotting. Aspects of the garden are getting a little bit mangy. So, again, amazing bouquets to be had. And like I said in other videos, these grow to, I've grown them to be eight and a half feet tall. I want to get, next year I want to see if I can breach nine feet tall with some of these. I haven't measured this year, but some of those are pretty close, would be my guess. And... Another new variety, I'll have to look that up. A lot more shade on this side of the yard, so these don't flourish very much. These trees, putting too much shade over here. I can grow a lot more back in here. It's sort of hidden from view. Out here, these flower beds with all the much more sunshine can prosper so much more. Sunshine is so key. Bell of Barmera. I don't know what sort of thrashes the petals and makes them fall to the ground. Almost like a bird does it or something. More of those beauties. And there's these that the whole thing's tipped. They get really heavy. Anyway, those are tipping into the tree. And this, I think someone clipped and took my bud that I think would have opened. I heard that my mom Yep, there it is. There's the clip. The old the one I was expecting to open. It was clipped. Found out my mom granted permission to some people to cut. And then they took a bud from this Emery Paul. It looks like. I was hoping to see it open, which It's a big raspberry one, amazing, so. There it is, 29 degrees tonight, and this is all gone. Look at this big beauty, this beautiful plant. Oh man, two more months for this thing to just put out heavy, heavy, raspberry colored big ginormous blooms would be amazing 
another one right here about to open but didn't quite make it another one one down there lots of them all through here that haven't quite made it up 